It's really exciting that we will have a Linnaeus two-toed sloth that's gonna call this building home along with 80 other species in the ark. We are um, trying to transition him from the care that he's getting in the clinic right now. He's in quarantine over there, making sure he's healthy, getting used to our keeper staff um, and all of that before we transition him to this new, brightly lit, different smells, lots of people involved facility. So um, he's doing really well. The keeper staff have been working with him every day, a couple times a day, um, learning his routines and him learning our routines. And um, so um, it, it's been a very slow process. So there was a lot of thought put into the design of where Joe is gonna occupy his space in this building. Um, for all practical purposes, he, he is a free roaming sloth, so that means he's got no enclosure around him. But sloths are, um, they, they stay on trees. So we've designed a tree in here that will allow him to move where he wants to be, but also exactly where we want him to be, um, to keep him out of danger, to keep him out of reach of our, of our guests. Um, so theoretically, he is free ranging. There, there are no barriers between him and our guests, and um, it should be really exciting. Um, there is no chance of him getting into trouble as far as mixing in another animal enclosure that we would maybe worry about otherwise. Um, so um, again, our, um, our keeper staff, once they transition him over to this new facility, this new area, the new branches, the new trees, um, then um, a whole new set of work is gonna start with them as far as training, watching him, showing him his, his um, off exhibit area. He's got an area where he can go climb down the tree and he's gonna have to learn all of that and that's gonna take some time from our staff to teach him all that. And favorite. I mean, we, we get calls and emails all the time about when are you going to get another sloth. And their natural history is really cool. Um, the way they behave, the things they eat, the things they do um, are really, really interesting. Um, but they're also just cute. And I think a lot of people, uh, that, that's enough for them. Um, they just, um, just want to um, see, see a cute sloth. He's very docile. He's gotten really used to our keeper staff and that's by no accident because our keeper staff are awesome in the work that they do um, to make these animals comfortable and have um, choice and control in everything that they do um, makes him much more comfortable. But um, yeah, he's, he's behaving exactly like we wanted him to do. He's, he's coming out on a, on, a, on a branch so we can weigh him. It's really important that we can get weights on our animals to make sure they're eating like they're supposed to be and nothing is, um, is, is wrong. Um, so a lot of that training regimen for, um, for vet procedures has gone really well as, as well. We like our animals to participate in the, as many procedures as they can. That way you're not anesthetizing them every time you have to get your hands on one to do you know, a mouth exam or a foot exam or, or um, draw blood. So, um, so yeah, Joe is really starting to participate in a lot of this and um, we're excited about it. You're going to feel the humidity of the jungle. And, um, and that's one of the things that's going to allow this sloth to exist in there as it would naturally out in the world. Um, I think it's going to be a fun game of where is the sloth today? Where is Joe? I'm sure he's going to have his favorite spots. If you're a regular visitor to the zoo, I'm sure you're going to be able to know what days he's going to be where and what time of the days he's going to be where. We don't know that yet either. So um, I think it's going to be really fun for our guests to be able to come in and, and experience that along with us.